Here's the thing about life. No matter what you do, and no matter who you are, you are not immune to trials. Tragedy, difficulties, and disappointments are no respecter of persons. And at some point in your life's journey, they will come for you. So what do you do when life devastates you? Well, stay tuned and I'll share with you five things that I did when life devastated me. One of the worst things that could ever happen to a parent happened to me when my five-year-old son complained of a headache. That headache turned into brain cancer and that brain cancer turned into the untimely death of my precious child. That was the most painful situation I've ever been called to endure. And as you can imagine, it hurt bad. But when the reality of my son's death set in, I realized I was faced with a choice. It was up to me to choose which direction my life would now head in. Tragedy said I should head south, but as a captain of my ship, it was my choice to choose in which direction I would head, and I chose to head north. And I was able to accomplish this by doing five simple things that you can do too when life hurts you bad. Number one, find the blessing in your storm. I was blessed to have had and loved Braden for five years, and those were five very special years. So that's what I tried to train my mind to focus on. And you should do the same. Find the positive no matter how difficult it is in your storm. Number two, don't allow your emotions to overtake you. It's natural to experience certain emotions when tragic things happen, but if we allow them to overtake us, it will only further negatively impact our lives and the lives of others. So for me, I chose not to allow depression to come in and rule me, not only because it wasn't good for me, but also because I had to be strong for my daughter and my husband who desperately needed my support. Number three, understand you deserve to be happy. I made the decision to be happy. There's a song that says, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me and the world can't take it away. And that's true because true joy comes from being in the presence of God. Psalm 1611 tells us that in the presence of God is the fullness of joy. So if you wanna be happy, start basking in the presence of God and he will give you the joy that your circumstances can't take away. Number four, think of others. Unfortunately, what you've gone through is not unique. Other individuals have and are going to experience something similar to what you've gone through. So for me, it was important that I overcome so that I could then help others overcome. And this gave me a sense of purpose in my trial. Number five, remember who's responsible. I understand clearly that it was the enemy, Satan, who was responsible for my pain. I also understood that it was his plan for this tragedy to ruin the rest of my life. And there was no way in the world I was going to give him that satisfaction. And you shouldn't either. I don't know how life has devastated you. Maybe you were raped, abused. Maybe you were abandoned as a child. Maybe you've experienced the pain of divorce. Maybe you received a bad diagnosis. Or maybe like me, you've experienced the loss of someone special. I don't know who you are or what you're going through, but I do know that you deserve the best and that you possess the power to change the course of your life. The word of God says that you can do all things through him. And that includes overcoming your most devastating situations. So when you're going through, I want you to think about these five steps and remember that you have the power to change the direction of your life. Okay guys, now before I go, I wanna encourage you to check out my book, Trusting When It Doesn't Make Sense. Also, I want you to remember that if you want to overcome in this thing called life, it starts with your mindset. And I have put together in a free PDF five steps to change your mind so that you can change your life. You can download it for free at simonawatts.com forward slash change. That's all I have for now. And until next time, remember to share, like, and subscribe. And remember that you are awesome because you are God's.